Abdominal wall pain can be seen in up to 30% of patients without chronic abdominal pain. It is more common in patients with persistent right upper quadrant pain, especially in patients with prior abdominal surgeries, sports-related injuries, and obesity. A patient often offers clues to include pain exacerbated by motion or an acute event, pain with getting in and out of bed, pain associated with oral intake, and many times patients will use a single finger to point to a spot of focal tenderness. The exam for abdominal wall pain evaluates for a positive Carnot sign. This is done by asking the patient to use one finger and point to a finger breast area of maximal tenderness. It hurts right here. Then palpate this area while the patient flexes their abdomen through a setup. This can also be done by flexing their neck forward. Alternatively, this can be done by lifting their legs. A positive sign without a palpable hernia is pathognomonic for abdominal wall pain. We then mark the spot of focal tenderness using a surgical marking pen. A trigger point injection can effectively and safely treat abdominal wall pain, leading to a 50% improvement in pain after injection of a local anesthetic. It is both diagnostic and therapeutic. We recommend lidocaine and triamcinolone as the initial injection for treatment of abdominal wall pain. Prior to the injection, we counsel patients on the risk of hypopigmentation and thinning of the subcutaneous tissue, a small risk of infection, as well as a burning discomfort during the injection. These are the materials you would need for an abdominal wall injection. We use 5 8 inch needles in patients with lower body mass indices and when performing injections in the upper abdomen. In the lower abdomen, where patients have a thicker layer of subcutaneous adipose tissue, or in patients with a higher body mass indices, we choose 1 inch needles. We use a 5 point technique for the abdominal wall injection. After mixing 4 milliliters of 1% lidocaine and 1 milliliter of 40 milligrams triamcinolone, we use a narrow caliber, 21 gauge or less, of either a 5 8 inch needle or a 1 inch needle. Then, at the site that was previously marked, we prep with chlorhexidine. Insert the needle perpendicular to the marked site to reach the rectus abdominis muscle, which normally requires the full length of the needle. We warn patients that they may feel a stick or sting sensation. Once the tip of the needle is at the point of maximal tenderness, inject one milliliter of the mixture. Before injection, warn the patients that they may feel a burning sensation. Withdraw the needle from the skin, redirect at a 45 degree angle, and reinsert the needle at the maximal depth. Inject an additional one milliliter of mixture. Repeat this step with the needle directed to the left. Downward. And to the right all at a 45 degree angle. Then remove the needle while applying pressure with sterile gauze. We typically do not repeat a corticosteroid injection sooner than three months to reduce the risk of thinning of the connective tissue in the region of the injection. In patients with abdominal pain who fail to respond or incompletely respond to a trigger point injection, we recommend a daily non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug such as meloxicam, 15 milligrams once daily. If this is ineffective or the patient does not want to take a daily oral medication, we recommend the application of lidocaine patches, topical diclofenac, or capsaicin cream, although our success of these medications has been limited.